Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. I pray that you are just saved, sanctified. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Walking in his power, walking in his might, walking in his glory, talking in his glory, moving in the spirit like never before. Good morning, good morning. Today is day two of the 14-day liquid fast. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm not going to say it's good. I, I got, oh, yes, oh, yes, I was anointing myself. Y'all see it, huh? <laughs> I was, oh, I know myself just before I get on here. I think I put a little bit too much though, but hey, what the heck. All right. So anyway, um, I know it's not always easy, you guys, but here's the deal. Just keep on doing what God has said to do, how he said to do it, when he said to do it, because this is going to take us to another level. Every time you fast, you have to understand you are a spirit. You see my title? You are a spirit. And it's time for the church to get back in the spirit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Like never before. We too much walking in the flesh. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When you can tell somebody this that fast, when you can get angry that fast, you're walking in the flesh. So let me go ahead and prayers in. Praise God. Everybody stretch your hands please if you can father god in the name of jesus we just thank you god we give you honor and we give you praise for you are el shaddai you are jehovah jara you are jehovah shalom oh father god is there anything too hard for you father god i'm just thanking you right now for everything father god the good and the bad for they all work together for those that love the lord everybody that's in the sound of my voice father god that need a prayer need healing need a blessing need strength need power need deliverance hallelujah oh father god i touch and agree with them father god let it be done let it be done let it be done in thy will god do what you want to do correct us rebuke us reprove us oh father god we love you we give you honor but the blood of jesus oh it's still worse i keep hearing that the blood the blood go back to pleading the blood that said the lord the blood of jesus covers us oh father god may they all be covered by the blood of jesus throughout this day their family their friends even their enemies for you will make their enemies their footstool oh father god i just think Thank you, God. We give you honor and we give you praise. Oh, Father God, with the, this, in, we, I say this in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And let us all come together in one accord and say amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I want to start with actually um, doing the secret to fasting. And also I want to start with scripture. Praise God. It's Matthew 6, 16 to 18. And it says, when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. You know how they be, we know when people know you fast and some of y'all just be, yeah, I'm fat. No, no, you, you have to wash your face. Look excited. Look like you're not even fasting. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me continue the scripture. For they disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. See, if you want that attention, God will just give it to you. But when ye fast, anoint your head. That's why y'all see that all dripping on me. <laughs> anoint your head and wash your face. That your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your father who is in secret. And your father who sees you in secret will reward you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let's go to another one. This one is real, real long. Isaiah 58, 3, 7 says, Why have we fasted and you see it not? Why have we humbled ourselves and you take no knowledge of it? Behold, in the day of your fast, you seek your own pleasure and oppress all your workers. Behold, you fast only to quarrel and to fight and to hit with a wicked fist. Fasting like yours this day will not make your voice to be heard on high. Is such the fast that I choose a day for a person to humble themselves. So while we're on this fast, humble yourself. You ain't got to answer anything. Be quiet. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me continue the scripture. Is it to bow down his head like a reed and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Will you call this fast and a day acceptable to the Lord? Is not this the fast that I chose to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the straps of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke? Is it not to share? your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house when you see the naked to cover him and not to hide yourself from your own flesh so when you're fasting you're actually you're getting more sensitive to the spirit of God come on somebody hallelujah because you're actually you're starving your flesh come on somebody and you're feeding your spirit now I'm gonna tell you something right now a lot of people don't understand what's getting ready to happen here. Boy, I, I'm telling you, I put some oil on me, didn't I? Oh my God, I must have overdid it. Real, real talk. But that's okay. So this, about your spirit, okay? The title is, You Are a Spirit. I got some heavy stuff for you guys, and I'm not even kidding. Um, you're going to want to go back over this one. 
you're going to want to go back over this one for real. Praise God. Hallelujah. So the first thing God wants you to know is that you have not been using your full authority. You are God's authority in the earth. Now, I'm about to mess y'all up. Y'all gonna have to listen very carefully because when I came upon this teaching and this studying, it was so deep, it backed me up. What I'm getting ready to tell you will change your life forever. Yes, I said it forever, and I'm not kidding. Because when I got the revelation, I said, I started repenting, you know, and, and, I, and I'm going to tell you, you're going to see why. And I was like, God, this stuff is deep. Okay, oh Lord, I'm so excited. I'm telling you guys, go back and play this one for real. All right, so we're going to talk about demons. Do you understand why demons want to possess humans? Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because that's what's happening. So we're going to have to go all the way back to the beginning in Genesis. Oh, come on, when God made man. All right, so when the demons try to come on earth, right? What did he say? Oh, I'm going to have to go to scripture. I hear you, God. Hold on. I'm going to have to go to scripture, you guys. I got to teach this thing. I can't preach it. I can't preach it. So, um, you know, I know y'all used to me just, I got to teach this thing for real. Hold on. Let them. Hold on. And, and I'm telling you, this teaching is so good, it's going to make your head spin. Okay. So, do you remember in the Bible when God said, let them have dominion? So, who have dominion over the earth? We do, right? So now let me tell you something. I gotta go. I gotta go slow with this. God, I gotta go slow with this. I got to, cause I gotta teach it the way He want. Cause I'm telling you, it's gonna change your life. It changed mine last night, and I'm not kidding. When I was doing the study, okay. So it's Genesis 1:26, and it says, "And God said, I need you to hear me now. Let us." Make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish, the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, over every creeping thing that creepeth up on the earth. So check this out. So we have dominion. So the reason why demons want to possess you is because they work illegal. They are illegal. They can't even get on this earth without a body possession. Y'all remember the movie Body Snatchers? It's real. The enemy... He actually is in the world, right? So he is illegal. So he has to have people that possess a body for him to work and do business in. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm about to blow your mind. And guess what? So does God. I know. And look, I ain't going to argue with nobody. Just listen to the teaching. Because notice what he said. He said, let them have dominion. I was wondering all my life, and I'm sure you have too. Why God don't stop all this foolishness? Why God let people die? Why God allow this, this, this? Can I tell you something? God cannot do anything without a man in the earth or a woman in the earth that, can, that he can move through. Oh, I'm telling you, I got to slow it down because I need you to catch this. When I thought about this last night, it blew my mind. Okay, let's go here. Who have authority? Luke 10, 19. He said, I give you all authority. Plus, he just said it in verse um, one to Genesis 1, 26. He said, let them have dominion on earth. So let me go ahead and say this. Any spirit that is, does not have a dirt body is illegal and operates illegal in the earth. Oh, you don't have no, you don't understand what I'm saying. They have no legal authority in the earth. So that's why God chose Abraham, even when he destroyed the Sodom and Sodom and Gomorrah. Let me tell you how. God could have just um, destroyed it. But he asked, they had a conversation. And you have to go look through it for yourself because I want you, to, that's why I don't do scriptures all the time. I want y'all to go back there. If, you, if you're that interested, go find out. He said, where's there's 10 faithful men? Will you destroy it? Where, if there's 15, something like that. And I might have that number on the 15 number. So God needed Abraham to give him permission to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. I, I walk with me here. Just walk with me here. Example. He said, let them have dominion over the earth. Now I'm about to get you. You know how the enemy has everybody saying, thou should not judge. Oh, when I caught this last night, I said, I'm going to hit the, hit the enemy in the head. We are to judge. Because he says, let them have dominion over earth. That means that we are to judge evil and good. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. Let me walk with this. You see, the worldly system knows that. That's why they put that out and they use scripture against us. Well, y'all ain't supposed to judge. The devil is a lie. Why do we have the book of Judges? Not only that. Why? And let me tell you how slick the enemy is. Don't he have a judicial system? Because he knows the same laws of God applies to natural and spiritual in the name of Jesus. Oh, let me work this thing out for you. Hallelujah. So the enemy takes scripture and use it against God's people. You don't hear what I'm saying. And people love to have it. 
it so. You have Christians saying, oh, we ain't supposed to judge. The devil is a lie. And I'm going to prove it to you today. Hallelujah to his name. Because God wants us to subdue the earth. Oh, this good, this good, this good. Hold on. I'm not even finished. So, I'm going to break some things down for you. And I want you, like I said, you're going to have to go back and... Okay, so when God made man, what are you made of? You're made of dirt, right? Okay, so... God and the devil is spirits. So if they're spirits, they cannot operate in the earth without a body to operate in. Oh, come on, somebody. Once you catch this, you're going to understand. Your most prized possession is your body. Oh, when I caught that. The enemy wants to use your body to do work. But hold on. I got some good news. So does God. That's why God used mighty men and women in the body, in the body of Christ and in the Bible, because he was looking for a faithful man or woman to carry out the assignment. That's why Abraham carried out. That's why David carried out. That's why Moses carried out. You was wondering why, huh? Because God cannot operate without man. Oh, I'm about to break this thing down. Hold on. He's, that's why he says, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. If you don't know the truth, you cannot worship him. Because guess what? Only the spirit of truth can connect with the spirit. Oh, come on, somebody. So those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Most people don't even work, uh, walk in the spirit, so how can they worship him in the spirit? You didn't hear what I just said. Let me tell you something. It's just like I was saying in that book of Frank E. Peretti, Piercing the Darkness. Whoever prays the most wins the city. But I got some good news for you that I found out even deeper. Whoever prays the most has the anointing of God upon their life, anointed to do miracle signs and wonders. That's why the enemy don't want you to pray. That's why he got everybody working like a dog. That's why he got you distracted. That's why he got you off course. That's why he sent tests. That's why he sent trials to throw you off. The difference between us and them in the Bible, this generation have forgotten how to pray. Prayer is your license for heaven to move. You better hear what I'm saying. Prayer is the license for heaven to move, God to move, the spirit to move. It's the same way those witches and warlocks operate. They pray to the devil and the devil give them things. Oh, I'm about to go all the way deep and come back around. Let me tell you something. Prayer, you are all, we are all ambassadors of God, of Christ, right? Prayer is an ambassador's number one responsibility. Don't you know if you pray, I'm not going to say everything going to be peachy peachy, but I promise you, you will prevail. I promise you, you will possess the anointing of God, the power of God, the fire of God. Hallelujah. And you will walk and produce miracles, signs and wonders. Let me finish. Okay, so I got to break this thing down. You see, when God made man, we made us out of dirt. Now, if you notice when people die, what happens? We go back to dirt, but your spirit go up or down. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I just said. We're made from dirt, so this flesh has to go back to dirt. Come on, somebody. Now, what is dirt? What did, what did he call man? Do you know our real, um, the nature of man means humus? Oh, I'm going to break this thing down. It means humus. Okay? So now, the whole name was humus Man, what they did is they dropped the syllable and they called it human. And what is a human? I need you to hear this a spirit being in a dirt body. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. The only being that has the legal right to operate here on earth is a human with a dirt body. Now, do you understand why demons want to possess your body? Oh, I'm got to go here. I'm about to go here. This is old as in the garden when Eve ate the apple. Well, actually, it was a nectar. They say apple, but it was a sweet nectar. Scholars say it was a sweet nectar. Let me tell you what happened. Satan illegally possessed the serpent's body to deceive Eve. That's why he was cursed. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He needed a body. Don't you understand? If you listen to me, it's going deep. And I promise you, you're going to understand. You're going to get the revelation. I've been wondering my whole life, why? Why and how could they do what they do? They use people the same way God do. Oh, I'm about to go here. The Illuminati and all those hierarchies, they are possessed. Now, here's the deal. Once you are possessed, now you become illegal in the earth. And that's why people die. 
Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. I know there's some deep teaching. I'm going to say it again. Once you allow a demon to possess your body, you are operating illegal in the earth. And therefore, death may come for you. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I, I know, I know, I know. Let me finish. Any spirit without a dirt body is illegal here on earth. Now, let me tell you why he wants to. The reason why a demon wants to possess your bodies is because he knows that that's the only way that he can actually try to deceive man. That's how he deceived Eve. The serpent deceived Eve. It wasn't the serpent. It was Satan that entered the serpent. He said, let me use your body for a minute. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. That's the same thing that's going on in Hollywood, the Rockefellers, and all the elite people. They are possessed. Because guess what? There's not a spirit entity that has legal right on this earth. We're the only ones that have legal right because he said it in Genesis 1.26. He said, and let them have dominion. You don't know your authority, God says. He says the church don't know their authority. We have given up our authority to illegal aliens. Now, hold on. That don't mean that they're really aliens because they're going to tell that lie. These are spirits. Hallelujah. Let me finish. This thing's so good. Now, when you lose your body, that's because you've given it up to demons. And yes, you will have to die. But hold on. Your body keeps you legal here on the earth. Don't you, oh, this is so good. I need y'all to catch it. Why do you think God don't want us to drink? Why do you think God don't want us to have sex? And what does the enemy do? James, first chapter, he gives temptations. He wants you to actually operate in sin because he knows sin will make you illegal. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. And if you lose your authority, then you have no authority in the earth. You understand what he's doing? Oh, when I caught that thing, I repented. I said, God, if I'd have known that when I was 27 to what, 30 something, I wouldn't have messed around those 10 years in church playing clown or whatever I was doing. I would have never, I would have never put alcohol in my body. I would have never fornicated. I would have never committed adultery. I would have never did. Y'all, y'all, y'all like ready for me? Hallelujah to His name! Don't you understand? He's trying to get you to lose your authority by sin, because sin makes you lose your authority. Because anything that entered in is not God. Because God says, "Let's go back. We're gonna, we're gonna go back and reference in G Genesis one twenty six. He said, "And God said, Genesis one twenty six, let us make man in our image. Isn't God holy?" He said, "And I cannot be tempted. Oh, do you don't hear what I'm saying? Isn't God pure? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So the only thing that actually makes us unpure is sin. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me keep on." And this is why demons want to enter your body. Demon wants to enter your body so that they can become legal here on earth. And that is why you... Now, hold on. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. I got to slow down, y'all. You, you, I'm serious. I get so excited when God gives revelation. Let me tell you why we can cast out. We can cast out demons because they're illegal. That's the only reason why you can cast out demons. Oh, y'all y'all thought it was... This thing gets so deep. I'm telling you. The only reason you can cast out demons is because they operate illegal in the earth. Because we have dominion. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me continue. Oh, this is going to get good in a minute. Also, do you know what is the Greek word for human? I-S-H-ish. Wait a minute. Didn't the world take that around and actually substitute for the word? I'm not going to say it, of course. And they don't say the it word. But they say I-S-H. Do you see everything that God has set in place and in order? The enemy has come around and tried to taint it. Come on, somebody. By using worldly things. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So now here's the deal. Only spirits in a human body is legal on earth, right? So he wants you to give up your authority. Because if you give up your authority, you can't. Ca then they cannot be cast out. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You don't understand what I'm saying. That's how God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham gave God permission. Now I'm going to go ahead and go another way. Moses. 
When Moses delivered the children of Israel, God said, I hear they cry, but I need a man. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, I'm about to mess y'all up. Why do you think God uses men and women of God? Because God cannot operate. God would go against his word, and God cannot go against his word, as you can see in Genesis 1.26. So God need people in position. That's where you come in, body of Christ. Because when you are in position to operate in the authority given by authority of God, you can cast out. You can you can actually prevail over any sin, anything that's happening. Oh, I'm going somewhere with this. You know why the apostles were so powerful? Because Jesus told them this. You have authority. But be mindful. Satan wants to sift you as wheat. Do you understand what sift means? He wants to try you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. When I got this thing last night, I said, God, what are you really saying? He said, Deanna, if my people knew how powerful they are, they will walk more in power. And I'm about to go here. The world understands this. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you an example. Do you notice how that guy on um, the breakfast club, Charlemagne the God, notice he called himself the God. You have so much power until that's why they call you God. Oh, I got to go somewhere. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got to go somewhere. I am coming here. I got to teach this thing. I, I know. But just walk with me. Do you remember in, in Genesis when he says, if you eat the nectar, which is a nectar, I'm sorry, I can't call it apple, then you will be like God's and God knows that. You understand what I'm saying? He says he knows that. That's why he don't want you to eat it. Because now you will know the knowledge of good and evil. Come on, somebody. And did it happen? Don't we know the knowledge of good and evil? So you got to understand the power you have. What is this whole life about? God wanted me to tell you the power that you are relinquishing. God said the body of Christ is relinquishing their power. Oh, come on, somebody. We have allowed Satan to come in the house of God and perpetrate. Come on, somebody. Unholiness. Because he knows. That sin separates you from your God And your authority here on earth Hallelujah So they are possessing bodies Even in the body of Christ Anytime you sin Anytime you fornicate Anytime you drink Anytime you lust Anytime you lie Any, any sin that you do It makes you illegal here on earth Hallelujah God wants the body of Christ to have power again. And the only way we can have power again is if you come back to God, the oracles of God, repent. That's what fasting do. You see, fasting, it opens up your eyes. You see, fasting humbles you. Fasting, and, and hold on, when you fast, listen. Listen. Listen for God. Listen for instructions because God will tell you what you're doing, what you're not doing, what you need to do. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God will tell you to repent. God will tell you to go to that sister, that brother that you had an all with. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Because there's too much flesh in the pulpit. There's too much flesh in the body of Christ. Most people don't can't even operate in the spirit of God. And I'm about to tell you something. Why is it that a lot of you don't know the voice of God? Because you have not spent time with it. But it's just not time. In order to worship him, you must worship him in spirit and truth, right? How do you get in the spirit? How do you get in the spirit? Do you all know that? Let me tell you how. You start spending time with him. Start spending time with him. And the next thing you know, you will be induced. You will be induced to read your word. You will be induced to do right. You will cry like a baby and say, God, I repent, I repent, I repent, because your eyes will be open, your spiritual eyes. And I pray in the name of Jesus, everybody that's in the sound of my voice, may your spiritual eyes be open. I say, in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name, may your hearing be open like never before. Let me tell you something, and this is not to gloat or to boast. When these gifts came upon me, while I could hear in the spirit and see in the spirit, and I'm going deep today. And some of you, are, you know, sometimes this is afraid. You can get afraid of this stuff. And I get it. I've been seeing demons since I was 27 years old. First, I can't lie. Yes, I was scared. I asked God. I said, wait a minute, God. You didn't tell me about this. He said, Deanna. And this is why a lot of people are not going to the next level. He said, Deanna. Did you think you can have one without the other? I said, God, what are you saying? He said, when I open your spiritual eyes, you got to see the good and the bad. You got to see heaven and hell. Oh, come on, somebody. How do you don't hear what I just said? You have to ask God, God, just keep me strong. And, and I see him now, even in the daytime. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. When it comes to the hearing, I take my oral. I had, I, um, I had it out for you. I take my oral. 
I put a little bit in my hand. I got enough on. I ought to just walk from where I got it. <laughs> and I just say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, induce my hearing, Father God. Let me only hear your voice, God. Let me not hear a stranger's father, God. Let me not follow a stranger, God, in the name of Jesus. Then I pray over myself. Take some more oral. I'm telling you, I'm, I douse that oral. Father God, in the name of Jesus, endorse me with wisdom and, in, and discernment, Father God. Don't let me be fooled, Father God. Oh, Father God, keep me, Father God. Don't let, let me be obedient. Don't let me fall into any kind of sin, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Remember, you are only flesh, so you got to ask God to keep you. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And hold on, remember. Do you know when it says, if any two should touch and agree, that's why I've been telling you, the most powerful thing, you don't need everybody, you just need one that agree like you do. Any two, if, if, you, if any two should touch and agree, he say, it will be done. That's why some of your prayers have been answered. You've been touching and agreeing with somebody that's secretly wishing that you don't make it, secretly hating on you, secretly don't like you. You got to find one person, just one person. And right now, I don't mind being that person. I touch and agree with you in the name of Jesus, everything that you ever ask God for. Hallelujah. Let it be in his will, though. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God said you have to understand who he is, who you are. It is time. We are in hot time. I'm telling you right now, people are dying. They had one lady on here and um, she said, well, we have to start praying for the kids let me tell y'all something there's too many people disappearing you got to pray over your family you got to pray over your house let me tell you what i'm going here and no this ain't in no bible the holy spirit taught me most of this stuff that i know go over your your your, your house go around your house three times name the father son you remember we made joshua go around the wall Go around your house in the name of Jesus, decree and declare. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Father God, this house belongs to you, Father God. Oh, hallelujah. Father God, angels to the east, the west, the north, and the south, Father God. Oh, Father God, protect us, Father God. Keep us. You are secretly or in the natural and in the spirit, drawing the bloodline. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And then let me tell you how you pray over your family. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Let me show you my list. Thank you, Lord. I hear you. This is a list. My whole family, my name, and everybody asked me to pray. And y'all on here too. And when I say all of you, I got Facebook family on here. And so what I do when I'm praying, morning, noon, and night, I, pray, I put some oil. I've got a lot of it. <laughs> put it on here. Father God, and I just pray whatever God tell me to pray. Because I'll be doggone if Satan take mine. Even the ones that don't like me, I'm praying for. You don't hear, you don't hear what I'm saying. Prayer is the power. Prayer is your weapon. Hallelujah. And he'll stop you from praying. Let me tell you something. Y'all got to get out of y'all routine. See, doing this 14-day fast, y'all going to... I'm being led by the Holy Ghost. It ain't Deanna. Trust me. I didn't even know what I was going to talk about. I don't even know what I'm talking about tomorrow. I'm letting him lead. We got to get out of routine. Routine is A, B, C, D. You better start praying over your family like never before. Why do you think the enemy is slipping in? It's too many kids getting kidnapped. It's too many people disappearing. Grown folks too. Come on somebody because you can't fight off everybody. I don't care how many guns you got or knives you got or whatever. Pepper spray. You can't fight off everybody. But if I got the power of the Holy Ghost, God will do it. I, I got to tell y'all something what happened one day. And I tell you these stories and they are real by the way. I'm telling you. Um, when I was getting out of the lifestyle I was le living and I was doing all kind of stuff and I got saved when I was 27 years old. Well, um, and I'm just going to keep it honest. I was affiliated with some bad people. We're going to say gangs. We're going to just call it what it is. Okay. And as I was getting out, I know they had a hit on my life. Let y'all don't know, huh? Y'all don't know. That's why I love them. Y'all don't understand why I'm so passionate, huh? I know I'm not supposed to be here. Y'all ain't ready for me. And so... I'm trying to get out, and I, I already know God calling me, so I don't want to have nothing to do with this no more, right? Never killed nobody. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so, long story short, one of them, you know, they was trying to get me. They wanted to kill me. Let's just be real. And as I walk into work one day, <laughs> it just takes you back when you go there. I hear the Holy Ghost say, run. Man, I was slow because I'm like, what? Because I was 27 years old, still baby in Christ. And when I turned around, I had I didn't have time to run. I'm not kidding. This is real. No exaggeration. A pit bull. I saw him. It was a guy. He had let his pit bull out on me. He was trained pit bull. He reached to grab my throat. I said, God, I'm dead. Because you know that's what pit bulls do. I promise you before power of God. All of a sudden, that pit bull went in the air. And he came down and he did. 
as if an angel had stepped in front and said no. Y'all ain't ready for me. I got so many other stories. And I'll probably tell it all before I die. Because y'all need to know the power of God is real. Because that's what God was saying too. He said, Deanna, a lot of people don't experience what you've experienced. And then that's not to say that you won't. That's not true. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not trying to act like I'm all that. I'm trying to tell you I've seen some stuff that make my head. I, I can't conceive it. I knew it had to be God. I can't conceive anything else. I mean, what was that? You don't hear what I'm just saying? So the power of God has to come back on this earth. But hold on, I just told y'all a lesson. It was sharp, powerful to the point. God cannot do it without a, a pure man of God, a pure woman of God that love God, that want God, that want to obey God, that want to be used by God. That's the secret. God's looking through the earth. Who will let me use him? And some of you ought to have enough unction not to be selfish and say, here I am, God. Use me, God. If I lose friends, God. If I be by myself, God. If they mock me, God. If they lie on me, God. If they kill me, God. Y'all ain't ready for me. So doing this 14-day fast, I, I want you to do a self-reflection. Where are you with God for real? Now, don't fool me now. Don't fool yourself. Where are you with God? And I do this every day. God, if I've said or done anything, please forgive me. That's why I could be so transparent. On purpose. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I've seen so many things. And God want to show the body of Christ so many things. I see people getting healed. I see the dead rising. I see limbs growing. Let me tell you another thing. Every time I see a person in a wheelchair, I hear God say they're going to walk one day. I met a person that was blind. God said he's he going to see one day. God has positioned people that's going to touch them. Hallelujah to his name. And they shall be healed. They shall walk. Now I have to say something. What you see now in the body of Christ, and I ain't going to call out no names today, they lying. Fake miracles. I'm not saying all of them because I've seen a couple of so I, I, myself, so I know it's real. But you ain't got to fake nothing. You ain't even got to fake being saved. Just ask God, say, God, I don't know how to do this thing. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes you just got to be honest with God. But teach me, God. Teach me. Send people that love me for real that's going to preach into my life. Teach me. Show me. Correct me. Rebuke me. Love me, though. And never leave me. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Everybody can't take correction. Some people, I, you remember I used to teach prophetic? Y'all don't know what I went through teaching them classes. People turned on me left and right. And yes, I did get offended at one point. I was like, God, I don't understand this. I'm giving them my all. And he said, Deanna, remember they're babes in Christ. Remember, they're just starting out. So it's just like any kind of relationship. When you're in a relationship, even a friendship, don't you latch out at your family and your friends first before you do strangers? So y'all got to, and even when that happens, you got to pray for people. You can't keep Hold, I hear you, God. You can't hold unforgiveness, but it stops the flow. Strife stops the flow of the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I feel the power of God. I feel the power of God. Hallelujah. And, and, and that's why I love fasting. You know, because what you're doing is you're starving your flesh and you're feeding your spirit. Cleanse me, God. Purify me, God. Change me, God. I don't want to be the same. Hallelujah to his name. And it ain't for us. It's for God's people. God is calling you to another level for God's people. Know your authority. Use your authority. Stop letting demons possess you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You see, you see them people on TV. Oh, we about, we about to go here. You see the reality shows. You see it in Hollywood. Y'all know the Illuminati. Y'all yeah, not crazy. Everybody know by now. Hey, rap rappers. Why do you think they act so demonic? Those are spirits. Now I'm about to, I'm about to say something. Y'all wonder why people get killed so brutally. Y'all wonder why they die so brutally. Y'all wonder why they, this is happening, this, this, this. Y'all got to start asking real questions. Who did they allow to possess their body? What demon? Because I just, I, just, I just taught you. Once you allow a demon to possess your body, you are here illegally. Death angel has a right to come for you. I, I know you hey. I know it's tight, but it's right. That's why God says, sin not. Hallelujah. He says, and I still have my hand stretched out to you. Repent, repent, repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. Hallelujah. That's all God told me to tell you today. I pray that you stay strong. I know the first couple of days of a full liquid fast is, is 
That's probably why I doused all that all on me. I ain't lying. I just, shh. <laughs> you know, but I will say this. I feel a change coming. I feel a change, but I also feel, and I got to say, and yes, it is a dust said the Lord. Oh, my God. I feel so much pain in my heart because there's so many people that God is getting ready to expose. Prepare your hearts, people, God, because these are some people that you love. But I got to be honest with you this morning. You know they're dirty. But if they have the house, they have the followers, they have the cars, y'all look up to them because they have a lot. Can I tell you something? Take all that away, and I want you to watch their spirit. Can you? Can I challenge y'all to do that? Stop looking at what people have and look at who they have. I challenge you all to do that. And that's not to bash them and throw them away and, and say that they're not, that's not what I'm saying. But one thing I grew up on, and I think most of you did too, right is right and wrong is wrong. And if you do wrong, own it. If you do right, own it. Hello? Come on, somebody. All right. So God bless you. God keep you. And I have to say something. Y'all still do that. And when I, not everybody, and I don't mean any harm. I cannot just talk to anybody. I don't think I'm all that or whatever, but if God don't release me to, I can't call, I don't even know you. But by the spirit, I do. Now, don't get it twisted. But if God don't release me to call you, don't get offended. I, I mean, y'all are writing messenger or something. Can you chat? What's a chat? Because we chat now. You know what I'm saying? I have to, this is going to, this is going to trip y'all out. The right ear is sanctified to God, right? The right side, actually. I can't tell you the last time a phone been in this ear. It's been at least maybe four or five years. I don't put a phone in this ear because I want complete, complete um, transparency between me and God. I want God to speak in this ear. Everybody can tell you, I will hold the phone to this ear. And sometimes if your spirit ain't right, I'm holding it like this, put you on speaker. I'm not saying I'm all that. But maybe you should also understand what I'm saying so you could protect what God has given you. When you are anointed and appointed, you have a right to protect what God has given you. Because the enemy, I just told you how he's trying. Let me tell you something. And, and I'm going to end it with this. I'm telling you, I see that fool. The enemy is just looking and waiting. How can I enter in? How can I get them? What well, they want a man, they want money. They want a car, they want a job. How? What well, I'm he looking for a weakness. How can I enter in? So we are in constant warfare. I don't have time to chit, chit, chat, chat. But I will say this. I may not know you, but I promise you, I pray for every last one of you. And I will say pray for me, but if you ain't got no prayer life, don't pray for me. I'm telling you right now, don't do it. I love you. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Mm -mm. And you know why. So with that being said, God bless you. God keep you. But it's time for you. Y'all to see how serious this warfare is. He is doing just what he did to Jesus. This is what he did. If you bow down and serve me, I'll give you all this. Don't y'all know the world is his? And some of you, you want it so bad. I have seen Christians run, run out trying to be a star, trying to be celebrities, and they're still doing it. I'm going to tell you right now what God said to me long ago, and I don't care who get offended. Christians are not to be stars. As a matter of fact, no one is. That's of the devil. That's of worldly stuff. We're to be what servants of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah to his name. Everything else I renounce. So God bless you. Oh, the volume is up, honey. So can y'all hear me? I didn't mean to do that, but somebody said they couldn't hear me. Just say, I can hear you, apostle. Because, I, Lord, don't tell me I didn't did all this <laughs> I'd have to go back and do it, which I don't mind. But um, can somebody say, I hear you, Apostle, please? Can somebody say they can't hear me? I just need one of you. Just need one of you to say, I hear you. Say, I hear you. I, I need you to specify. I, I hear you, Apostle. Somebody? Can anybody? And yes, Kenneth Bent, thank you so much, Jolene. Kenneth Bent, you are right. It has been intense warfare. And what people don't understand, when it get intense, let me ask you something. Some of you got children, some of you got somebody you love, right? If somebody tried to hurt them, 
But wouldn't you, I mean, you know, and you were there. And by any means necessary, you had to do what you had to do. You do it, huh? Well, that's the same way you better think about this because I'm telling you right now. He's out to steal, kill, and destroy, and he's not playing. And he's using everything because he knows he has but a short time. This is not the time to play. This is not the time to play. This is not the time to play. I'm telling you, watch everybody. Check it by the door. Test the spirit by the spirit. Period. I don't care who it is. All right? So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless. And I love you guys. Stay strong.